Dr. Teruo Higa, a Japanese professor of agriculture, discovered that a mixture of naturally occurring microorganisms had a strong effect on the growth of plants, which is why he called them effective microorganisms. After developing a carrier medium for the microbes, he made EM available to the public in 1982. The farmers who used EM reported to him that his product was not only effective in producing increased yield and quality in crops, but that it also counteracted the rotting of organic matter, foul smells and the rusting of iron. It was obvious from the beginning that only a few of the 100 microbes in the original mixture were actually crucial to the effect. And in the course of time, these were found to be the following. Lactic acid producing bacteria, such as those which occur in curd and pickled foods, yeast, which occurs in bread, idlis, and alcoholic drinks, and photosynthetic bacteria, which occur in the roots of the water hyacinth. All of these occur widely in nature, across all the continents, and hence are not exotic. They are also not genetically modified, and have also proven to be safe for the environment and for humans. Safe even if accidentally ingested. The factory product is called EM1, or EM stock solution, which in India is sold under the registered trademark Maple EM1. EM1 has a shelf life of six months, on the condition that the container has not been opened. The microbes in EM1 are inactive or asleep, and need to be activated. For this purpose, EM1 is to be mixed with jaggery, and water, which should be both chlorine-free and clean, in the following ratio. One part EM1 to one part jaggery to 18 to 20 parts water. After the jaggery has been well dissolved, the mixture is left to sit in a food grade plastic bucket with an airtight lid for one week. The gas which develops during the fermentation needs to be released for a second every day to prevent the container from bursting. After seven days, the EM is activated. It has turned very sour, with a pH below four. It gives off a mild, sweet sour smell, and it is now ready for use. In large kitchens and canteens, where considerable quantities of water from washing rice are available, EM can be activated with the help of this water, which is rich in starch. For this purpose, collect the water from the first two or three washings of rice. Then mix three parts of EM1 to two parts of sugar to 95 parts of rice water. The activation will be complete after seven to 10 days. While EM1 
has a shelf life of six months. Activated EM solution should be used within one month after activation has been completed. EM has been used successfully in agriculture, animal husbandry, aquaculture, composting, solid waste management, sewage and wastewater treatment, hygiene management, and the ecological rehabilitation of polluted soils and water bodies. In all these fields, activated EM solution is to be diluted from 100 to several thousand times, thus making the use of EM very cost effective. The benefits of using EM for hygiene are odour-free cleanliness, a reduction of flies and cockroaches, the suppression of stain development, as well as safety in handling, which is in addition to the ecological benefits for plants, soil and the water cycle. Household floors and surfaces do not require any hygienic measures beside cleaning with water. Nor does the wiping of these surfaces require any additional cleaning agent. However, wherever the use of a cleaning agent is desired, in particular in bathrooms and kitchens, activated EM can be used on a wet cloth or by diluting it with water in the ratio of 1 to 100. For example, 100 milliliters of activated EM one cupful, in a 10 litre bucket of water, would give a dilution of 1 to 100. In sinks, toilets and urinals, use a few millilitres of activated, undiluted EM if possible with the help of a household sprayer, and allow this activated EM solution to act on the surface for some minutes. EM may be used on all surfaces, including on carpets, in wardrobes, and on shelves. Avoid using it in its undiluted form on acid-sensitive surfaces, which suffer from lime juice and vinegar as they will also suffer from EM, for example, black waxed caterpillar stone. Solid waste management implies the separation of compostable and non-compostable waste at source. All compostable waste should be made into compost, preferably in a compost heap, or a so-called windrow. Composting in pits is appropriate in areas of very low rainfall. Good composting depends firstly on the appropriate mixture of plant and animal waste, so that wherever garden waste and leaf litter are available, these should be mixed into the compost. Secondly, it depends upon waste material being chopped into small pieces, from one to five centimeters in length. And thirdly, on appropriate moisture conditions. So during the summer, we need to add water, and during monsoons, we need to protect the compost from rain. Kitchen and canteen waste is generally very wet and tends to start rotting quickly and developing a foul odour. Spraying activated EM solution over the compost will prevent both bad smells and flies. If it is mixed regularly into the compost heap, 5 litres of activated EM solution in a heap of 1 tonne of raw materials 
It enhances the composting process, as well as producing an improved compost for gardens and fields. Introducing EM into hygiene management leads to the inoculation of all wastewater. This will help to control bad odours and to improve the performance of wastewater treatment systems, bringing down COD, BOD and TDS levels etc. When introducing EM into sewage treatment, the initial dosage and frequency need to be high, whereas the maintenance dosage will be low and cost efficient. For details of dosing EM in sewage treatment plants, please consult an EM expert. With the help of EM, gardening, composting, hygiene and wastewater treatment can all become more efficient, less costly and more eco-friendly. By transforming liquid and solid wastes into resources for quick and easy reuse, the input of EM makes it possible to dispense with environmentally burgeoning detergents, disinfectants and pesticides. Authentic EM in India is available as Maple EM1 and is produced by Maple Orgtech India Limited in Dehradun. Maple EM1 is an organic product certified by EcoCert. At present in 2006, Maple EM1 is being sold at a maximum retail price, inclusive of taxes, of 240 rupees for 1 litre and at 67 rupees for 200 millilitres. The preparation of activated EM solution will cost the user 12 to 15 rupees per litre. A single household might require only one or two litres of activated EM solution per month, and a public toilet might need 10 litres. If cleaning a public toilet requires two buckets of water per wash, 200 millilitres of EMA will be required for one wash, and 400 millilitres for two washes a day amounting to 12 litres of activated EM solution per month, which corresponds to half a litre of EM1 per month. Expenses will then be rather less than for conventional hygiene inputs. Maple EM1 is available in Tamil Nadu with Oro Annam in Oroville. Please inquire with Oro Annam about authorised local dealers in your district or area. Oro Annam in Oroville operates as the training centre for EM technology in the country. Thank you.